At Logistimo, our mission is to ensure availability of essential goods like vaccines, medicines in rural areas. And um, the way we, uh, we do this is by using mobile phone and cloud computing technologies and optimizing the rural supply chains. So today there is a problem of uh, stockouts uh, of these kinds of goods, be it medicines or vaccines. And uh, the reason it happens is there is information asymmetry in the system where the demand and the supply are not uh, visible across the supply chain at the right times. So this leads to distribution inefficiencies and that leads to stockouts. And this leads to poor quality of uh, service. So what we are doing is we are helping connect the chain. Like the, uh, the last mile worker at the village on a phone uh, like this, like a basic phone um, or even a smartphone. So they, they will have an application on that through which they can enter uh, the inventory transactions, like the sales they made or what they received, what is their stock. So very simple counting operations they can enter. And this information is aggregated on the cloud and at the warehouses upstream in the supply chain. So they can get visibility into what is the consumption that is happening at these nodes. And uh, based on that consumption, they can take decisions on replenishment. And also, we will be able to know which place is stocking out and hence where, where is immediate action required. So, and also there is a lot of analytics that strategic decision makers can use to optimize the supply chain. So this way, inventory management, order management, transportation, coordination, scheduling, all of that can be done with just uh, people on the field using mobile phones. Um, and, uh, in the, and the phone itself can work on unreliable networks where the GPRS is not there, you can switch to SMS. It can work in offline mode, so they can enter the data at the facility and they can go home and send it where there is signal. So we kind of built a fairly robust and reliable platform that can get data from the last mile. And then a lot of intelligence on the cloud-based platform analytics that can kind of optimize the supply chain and thereby make availability possible. Now today we are already working in both the public sector and the private sector. So in the public sector deployments, uh, we have been working with uh, aid agencies and governments. So we have deployments in Karnataka, uh, Uttar, two districts in Uttar Pradesh, then um, Arunachal Pradesh and Meghalaya. So the primary healthcare centers uh, are, being, are using uh, this kind of a technology. And then uh, we also have uh, been working with uh, distributors in the private sector, uh, where they are actually, especially in agriculture and uh, you know, solar uh, products, energy products. In those kinds of domains, even the private sector distributors have become our customers. Um, so we also have deployments in Africa, a couple of countries in Africa, like South Sudan and Democratic Republic of Congo. So we are kind of um, at a stage where we have actually uh, gotten deployments, shown value, demonstrated impact, and also slowly s scaling it up, as well as uh, in the private sector beginning to monetize. So one, one plan is actually the scaling up part, in like where we are they're doing only at the district level, we'll be scaling to the state level, uh, or even to the country level, possibly. Um, but in terms of the product itself, um, basically, um, so we, we are kind of uh, looking at how to uh, empower the workers in the last mile in a better, in a stronger way. And what that means is um, amongst the set of our users, some have better capacity to use the tool, but some need more help. So what we are doing is to try to leverage uh, social networking features to help connect people so that best practices can be shared. And also in addition to optimizing quantities, we are also look at monitoring the quality of goods. So one example is um, for vaccines, they are stored in fridges and they have to be maintained at a particular temperature range. So we have kind of now begun to put uh, sensors into the fridges. And these sensors can transmit temperatures of the fridge over GPRS or SMS. So that way now we are providing dashboards on the cloud where you can actually monitor to say that the vaccine is preserved at the right level. 
So if the vaccine is frozen or overheated, then even if it is injected to a child, it's worthless. It's not effective. So that way, um, it's becoming, it's mo moving towards becoming a rural logistics platform that can uh, help you optimize uh, quantity and also help you monitor quality of goods. And uh, at the same time, there's a lot of focus on human capacity building and ground-up empowerment of uh, workers in the last mile.